Right, we're looking at the checkpoint head path error on a DesignJet 5000 or a DesignJet 5500. Uh, we've powered this machine off just to run through the error or what might possibly cause it. Okay, so the cover open here. Um, one of the common items that we see is this door here is missing. Okay, so what happens when the carriage tries to move? Well, it moves forward and sometimes those the tubes there will pop out, double back on themselves and just cause the carriage to snag. So that, that's a possible cause of that error. So just make sure you've got a door, door in place there. Uh, not an expensive item, readily available. Okay. Um, another item, just basic maintenance. So you've got the slide way here and another one on the rear there. Okay. What I do just make sure that those slideways are clean and lightly oiled. Don't go dripping oil directly onto it. Just uh, apply some oil to a rag and, and clean those slideways. Um, carriage belt disintegrating or gone brittle. Um, quick check on that machine. On that there is get your carriage belt. Just fold it in half in your fingers like that to squeeze it in half. Uh, if you see that it's starting to split. Um, then time to replace that carriage belt. Um, could possibly be a service station issue. So we've got the right hand door open here showing the service station. Uh, if the service station isn't operating correctly, not moving out of the way, what you might get is a, that kind of condition there. Carriage coming along and just crashing into the side. Um, so a good way to check that one is if you're getting that error with the carriage kind of sticking halfway out like that. So more often than not it's just a general maintenance issue. Um, tubes is another possible cause. Over time they go a little bit brittle. Uh, as the tubes start getting brittle that it's not moving as well as they ought to. So you'll get that check printed path error. There are a couple of other things that might cause the condition, that would be covers off to kind of show that. Uh, we've got tensioner assembly and the y-axis motor. So left hand side tensioner assembly hidden down there, can't see it. And the y-axis motor up on the right hand end, uh, both of those would require covers off and an engineer or someone who's comfortable taking apart this type of equipment. Um, so if you do have that issue, you can visit our website, give us a call and we can advise on how much to come out and, and resolve it.